Two locations of Mike's antique archaeology may be found in Leclerc, Thoa, and Nashville, Tennessee. He is 58 years old. We will utilize your information in line with our privacy policy. According to Experian's Business Valuation Report, Antique Archaeology Nashville's anticipated yearly sales can only be revealed to the U.S. Sun. Reportedly, Antique Archaeology Nashville makes $903,000 each year, a good probability of on-time payment, and a low-risk business credit score were the report's conclusions. Antique Archaeology was rated with a low risk of 2 out of 5 by the Financial Stability Risk Ratings. This means that there is a 1.11% potential risk of severe financial distress within the next 12 months. The U.S. Sun has not heard back from a representative of Antique Archaeology or Mike on their comment request. Mike started his firm in 2011, and although it seems to be doing well, some clients have complained about the prices being too exorbitant. Nice Spot to Visit was one of the latest reviews left by a satisfied client on Google. A plethora of attractions. A bit steep are the prices. However, unique objects that are not found elsewhere can be found here. There isn't a huge variety of items to choose from if you're interested in buying a piece. Another commenter said, Quite a bit of antique archaeology merchandise, though. Inexpensive as chips. Everything. That a little let down, remarked a third. Mostly it's just show merchandise. So few things to buy. And they're all pricey, the exclusive images obtained by the U.S. Sun from inside the store in Nashville, Tennessee, showcase the expensive things. Gone Pickin' Socks are being sold by Mike for $18 in one shot. And Vintage Purina Cho sign is selling for $900 and a Pepsi Cola sign for $1,200, among other costly items. The asking price for a vintage Pepsi machine is $2,200. Among the other items for sale are two Ohio license plates from 1942 and an early toy engine for $75. It was previously reported in the U.S. Sun that antique archaeology in Iowa faced criticism from customers who felt the store sold more items than antiques. There have been customer complaints over the national store's limited selection of collectibles. The staff was friendly enough, However, most everything in there was just merchandise that advertised antique archaeology, one user said on Google Reviews. Since I couldn't find many things that would suit my needs among the goods that the men had gathered from across the nation to offer, I was hoping to peruse more of their inventory. Antique archaeology-themed, pricey merchandise was all I could make out. The place is so small and very little of the antiques collected on the show are for sale or even there in the store, another one remarked. The most of it is just inexpensive trinkets. Products shown in the images acquired by the U.S. Sun encompass a wide array of goods, such as shot glasses, keychains, bumper stickers, apparel, caps, tote bags, glasses, thermometers, gloves, and more. One photo shows the store's display of stuntman Evil Knievel's jacket and helmet. According to the tag on the jacket, it was worn by Evil at a promotional event and was her final garment. Nashville, TN, is where the jacket was selected. Season 13, Episode 13, Good and Evil. Has